Hi, welcome to Pastor Talk. I'm Pastor Steve. I want to read to you today one verse from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And it's really, it's a text that uh, is talking about our relationships with one another, that we grow up and treat each other correctly. Uh, there's a lot more to this text than in this verse than I'm going to share with you today. But, uh, but I, I want to talk to you about maturing in your spiritual understanding of God. You know, in chapter 17 of the Gospel of John, Jesus is saying a prayer to the Father. And he makes this statement in verse 3 of chapter 17 of John. He says, This is life eternal, that they might know Thee, the one true God and Jesus Christ, whom Thou hast sent. You see, Christianity is about a relationship with God the Father. It's about a relationship spiritually with our Heavenly Father who loves us so much and sent His Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us that we might have a relationship with Him. Let me quote that verse one more time. This is life eternal that they might know Thee, the one true God, and Jesus Christ, whom Thou hast sent. You see, Christianity is a relationship, a love relationship with God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what life eternal is, a relationship with God. And so I want to read to you this one verse from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. The Apostle Paul writes to us through inspiration of the Holy Spirit. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. When I was a child, I did think like a child. You know, God has given us a, a great deal of information about the kingdom of God in the world around us. And one of the things he's using here as a correlation that corresponds, you might say, to maturing in spiritual things in our spiritual life and our relationship with God is that we can understand through the maturing process of us as individuals, as human beings. You know, when I was just a baby, I uh, didn't think much at all about anything that I know of. But, uh, but as a child, as a young adult, teenager, whatever level it was until I became an adult. You know, I saw things so much different than I see things now as a mature adult. You see, it's God's desire that we grow in our understanding of Him by the reading of the Holy Scriptures, by seeking to know God better, by the studying of God's Word, allowing the Holy Scriptures to teach us, by allowing the Holy Spirit through the Word of God transform our minds so that we see things properly, see things the way God sees things, we finally mature in our understanding of God and the ways of God. You see, it tells us in the 8th chapter of Romans that we have been predestined to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. Oh, beloved, what a marvelous thing. God wants to change you and transform you. That would be like a transformation is, is, is from the word like a, butter, like a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. He wants to change us so that we become like Jesus Christ. Just think how much better your world would be if you were making choices based on the way that Jesus would make choices. It'd be a whole different world, wouldn't it? In fact, think about it. Think of all the times you've made wrong choices and it messed up some, some of the, the periods of your life possibly, and some of them uh, can affect your whole life. But, but if you were seeing things because you thought like God, you saw things through the eyes the same way that Jesus would say, see things. Just think of all the better choices you'd make in life and how much better life would be. 
You see, God desires us to grow up. When we're a young Christian, we see things different than as an adult Christian. He wants us to mature to where we see things like Jesus sees things or how he saw things. In fact, Christ is going to live through us if we'll allow him. He lives through us. And we begin thinking and seeing and understanding spiritual things and seeing them the way Jesus saw them when he walked on the earth. In other words, God wants to mature you into a, a relationship to where you think as he thinks, where you see things the way he sees things, where you understand the ways of the world and the ways of man and the ways of life and the ways of God in your relationship with God. You see things in such a way through spiritual eyes. Beloved, have you matured in your relationship with Jesus Christ? For that's life eternal. Becoming more like Jesus till the day you get home. You'll never be perfect. You'll never know it all. You'll never have all understanding. So it's a lifetime pursuit to be matured and to change and to grow in the understanding of the things of God, to be conformed into the image of Jesus. It's a lifetime pursuit. But the question I have to ask you is, are you pursuing? As I look at the body of Christ in America, the majority of Christians sitting in churches today have not truly matured. They, they don't truly have understanding of the ways of God and the things of God from, from the experience that I've had with the majority of Christians. Have you matured in your understanding? Do you spend time in the Holy Scriptures? Have you been filled with the Holy Spirit? Are you walking a spiritual life in which you can look back two years, five years, ten years, and you know that God has changed you a bunch through all those years and you can see your own transformation. What an exciting thing to see your own transformation. I can look back 10 years from my life right now, and I've been walking with God for 30 years. I, I, can, I can look back five years and 10 years, and I, I can see a big change in my understanding of things. And when you understand things better, and you see things better, you see things more clearly. You make better choices. You can love people more. You just, you just think differently. Just like a child, when it grows up, sees things differently and thinks differently as an adult. Well, the last thing I'd say to you is, you know, it would sadden me if I had a child that never wanted to grow up and they just wanted to be a kid all their life. I had a pastor one time that used to talk about that. He'd say, don't you think it saddens God when we don't really grow up in spiritual things and our understanding of God the Father and our Savior Jesus Christ? Well, I hope this will stir you to read your word, to study, to be in church, to be in Bible studies, to spend your time with God that you might know life eternal better, that you might be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. Well, I hope that this has been a blessing. This is Pastor Talk for you. This is Pastor Steve, and God bless you.